My morning must read is from Noriel Rubini in Project Syndicate, <laughs> calling the deflation of the gold bubble. He says what it boils down to is the fact that gold may be a store of value for wealth, but it is not a means of payment. You cannot pay for your groceries with it, nor is it a unit of account. Prices of goods and services and of financial assets are not denominated in gold terms. There's no sign of hyperinflation or even rapid inflation at this point. There's no income to be generated from holding on to gold, uh, unlike stocks or bonds. Yeah, but this I, is nothing new, but everyone's jumping on this oh anti gold. Word. Nothing new at all. You're right. Wagon. It was a great primer in the mail I got. I literally had to go through looking for death threats. It was mail. just something. The mail, I got gold chart. Here's inflation adjusted. Some would say disinflation adjusted gold. I call this the David Malpass chart for the great economist, formerly with Bear Stearns. And you can see we went above the spike, price adjusted, and we've come down nicely. Not a lot, Sarah, but we've come down nicely on gold. You've got a morning must read, too. I've got a morning must read, and that has to do with Washington, David Plouffe's world, and this whole idea of leaks and the scandal with Attorney General uh, Mr. Eric Holder. And in the New York Times today, Bill Keller, a columnist, writes for Poe, who is actually a conservative lawmaker, introducing the new Shield Law, and quite a few like minded conservatives. A law to shield confidential sources is not about pampering the press. It's about maintaining a check on a big government that has been known to abuse its powers. He says this is a good thing. He is supportive of it because of the recent scandals that have been brought to light.